Hi, I've got this foldable e-bike. Um, it's nice and plain and it came from Germany. I paid £360 on eBay with £140 import tax to HMRC via DHL and parcel force. Really good value because it can start from standstill and climb hills. I weigh 80 kilos and it can take me up a 20 degree incline with ease. It has a twist throttle instead of a thumb throttle which makes it really easy to use. I'm glad I sent back the Elo bike um, as this has some better features. It has a twist throttle. It also has a OLED uh, speed uh, and odometer. It has three uh, digital gears. This kicks in even when not pedaling. Uh, the throttle, I mean. The, the charging port is here. Um, this is plastic. Uh, this is the rest. Everything else is metal. This is plastic. Plastic. Pedals are plastic. I think they fold. These do fold. Um, there's a lamp which you press, uh, long press the plus and it goes on. I can show you now, it's quite bright. Uh, it's got a little electric horn, which the ELO doesn't have. Um, seat post, the seat on this is much better. It's got springs and uh, the ELO seat doesn't. It's also got a little gap for the gents. For comfortable riding with both a European plug, a UK plug, and a toolkit that charges 42 volts at 2 amps, which is typical. And almost it's almost as a, an identical bike to the Elo disc, it's got disc brakes, except this is, I would say, much better value. I would not want to pay 900 extra pounds just for a few differences and in and this, in this in some ways this bike is superior to the elo uh, it's just are you willing to pay uh, import charges which i paid online and it, it was quite straightforward it took about 10 minutes just paid it by credit card and that's fine so i'm just going to make sure that my brakes are up here so i'll just have to undo this little the tool provided this allen key and also make sure this brake is up here so I can reach it comfortably. Um, all these clasps are pushed down, same as that, so it doesn't fold while I'm driving. So there's one clasp here, one there, another one there to fold the, the um, handlebar down. Um, also make sure that is secured and put down. Uh, this seat post needs tightening on this side even though it's clasped in just to be a bit tight so I'll have to undo this, tighten that and clamp it back in and we'll take her for a spin. Um, also I'll show you the other side. It's got a lovely kickstand on the other side and um, a little stand here so, when, so it can balance when you put the post down. Really well made. Battery is in this top tube of course. Uh, disc brakes with calipers, disc brake with calipers, better for braking, brilliant bike, totally worth the money. Anything else uh, that's similar to this bike in the UK, I bought this from Mega Wheels on eBay and I put an offer for 360 anything else in comparison is about £800 and it has like a big text on there that says something like Fox Man or E-City Man or something dodgy. Uh, but this one's all plain black and it, it's got a few stickers on there which I can peel off. But it's got a really nice look to it. I might get some solid tyres if these happen to puncture a lot. I'll add some tube sealant um, which you can watch in my other video. So it will reduce any punctures. So it's got all of these Allen keys and it's also got some sockets, uh, some flathead. Phillips and a square drive and uh, kind of like a 
a wrench there, spanner thing. A uh, really good tool, actually. This is actually, uh, you're able to tighten it by hand. We have to loosen that first, which makes the tube really fall down. And you can loosen or tighten that by hand, which is handy.